Whenever you're talking about anything with Mo Berg, the first thing you have to understand is it's going to be complicated. It's a hell of a story. He loved being a mystery. Mo Berg was a terrific athlete. Mo would disappear after games. He was very charming. The girls would go gaga. He was a loner who wanted to experience the world and found a way to do it. Who is this guy who can do all of this? He was smart and he was funny. <laughs> Casey Stengel said he could speak seven languages and it couldn't hit in any of them. Brain and brawn really does make Mo Berg the ultimate Jewish athlete. Mo Berg was very aware that peace was going to be disrupted in the world. The catcher has to have that bird's eye view. Was he doing intelligence work while he was still in baseball? He's assessing what's in front of him, where the base runners are, how fast they are, what scores, what inning is it, who's pitching, what's his stuff, who's up, what can he hit, what can't he hit, how do we win the game? Here's a guy who went to Princeton, Columbia, spoke many languages, was a professional baseball player. I mean, if he wasn't real, you would have had to invent him. Germany got a big head start on building an atomic bomb. And it was very obvious that if anybody could ever unlock this great secret, they'd control the world. The OSS had given the Manhattan Project its own spy, and that was Mo Berg. It had to be about as dangerous a job as a fellow could undertake. He went behind the lines in a war where a man's life isn't worth two cents, you know. I think it takes a great patriot to do something like that. Mo Berg's father never went to see him play a single game. But Mo Berg said he'd rather be a baseball player than be a Supreme Court justice. What he wound up being is an American hero.